Hey guys, today we'll be making an adorable monogram chevron grapevine wreath. What you will need, so I have the letter B here, but you can use whatever letter of your choice. I have the Bodabra bow maker, also some bow wire, floral wire as well. My grapevine wreath, which can be purchased at any craft store. And then also my chevron burlap. So I've already cut my chevron burlap. So I've cut one piece 48 inches long, three pieces 40 inches long, and two pieces 32 inches long. If you want a larger bow, then you can cut larger pieces. If you want a smaller bow, then cut smaller pieces. It's completely up to you. Also, any other embellishments you'd like to add to your wreath. All right, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my bow wire, fold it in half, and place it down in the center of my bodabra. And then I'm going to take my 48 inch long piece, this is going to serve as my tail, and I'm going to fold it in half to find the center. And then I'm going to scrunch with the right side facing up, and then I'm going to fold in half, bring the front and the back up, and place it down. And of course I'm going to be using my wand a lot to scrunch it all together, this burlap is very thick. Next, I will be taking one of my 40 inch long pieces. Again, I will fold it in half to find the center. And then with the wrong side facing up, I'm going to scrunch the end, fold in half, bring the front and the back up, and place it down. Make a loop and scrunch the other side exactly the same. And place it down. And then I'm going to find my center where I just folded and scrunch once more. And then place it down. Just like that. Of course, like I said, use your wand to scrunch everything together. Alright, next I'm going to take one of my 32 inch long pieces. And I'm not going to fold this one to find the center. I actually want more of the burlap towards the bottom and just a little hanging off of the top. I'm going to scrunch about a third of the way down from the top and then place it down. Just like that. Alright, now I'm going to take another 40 inch long piece and repeat the same steps. Scrunch the end, make a loop, and then scrunch the other end. And of course, scrunch once more in the center. And I'm just going to continue repeating the step, alternating, adding the longer piece and the shorter piece. For as many pieces as I'd like. Alright, I'm giving it one final scrunch, making sure I adjust everything. Alright, next I'm going to take my bow wire, the two openings inside of the loop, hold my bow in place and give it a nice tug. And then remove it from the bodabra. And then I'm going to tie it in a knot a couple of times. Alright, so this is what it's looking like. So cute and precious. Again, add as many loops and tails as you'd like. So burlap does tend to droop after a while. So what I decided to do was take some Chanel stems. I'm actually going to curve the Chanel stem, just like so, and hot glue it in place in the middle of the burlap. This is just going to help it stay more curved and give it a little more form. So I'm taking my hot glue gun and I'm just going to place glue all along the Chanel stem. And then I'm just going to place it in the center of my chevron burlap loop. And I'm going to repeat this step for all of my loops. Alright, it's looking so cute and precious already. Now what I'm going to do next is take some of my floral wire and I'm going to just loop it around my bow. And then I'm going to twist it together a few times at the back of the bow. And this is going to help easily facilitate the attachment of this bow to my grapevine wreath. Alright, so what I'm going to do is just pick which spot I want it. I want mine on the left side of the wreath towards the top slightly, 
and I'm just going to take my floral wire and just twist it around to the back of the grapevine wreath and twist it together, tuck away the excess. All right, and then adjust and maneuver to make sure it looks so cute and precious. It's looking adorable. Also, you don't want any of your Chanel stems to show, so just maneuver there. As you saw at the beginning of the video, I already had this done. I did paint the letter the night before, but I'm going to show you how I did so. So I have some paint. This is actually elephant gray. I have a sponge brush, and then I have my letter. All I'm going to do is take my paint and just cover the entire letter. Again, the color you use just depends on what your color scheme is for this specific wreath. You can even do multiple colors or if you want to have flowers on your letter, it's completely up to you. But I'm going to get this painted and then we'll start attaching it to our wreath. Alright, so you just saw how I painted my letter. Now we're finally going to get it attached to our wreath. I'm going to take some floral wire and kind of manipulate it where I have a long piece attached to the back of my letter. And this is of course going to change based on what letter you're using. But I have two pieces of floral wire and I'm going to use my hot glue gun to glue them in place. And I'm going to be very generous with the amount of hot glue I use because I don't want my letter falling off. Alright, I think we are all done. I did go back and add an additional piece of floral wire crisscross over my first piece. Just again, like I said, extra security. Now we're finally ready to attach it to our wreath. When we're attaching it, we're just going to take the floral wire and bring it all the way around to the back of the grapevine wreath, twist it together a few times, and then tuck it away. You are all done it looks so cute precious simple and easy to do modify the colors and the style to fit your theme add in any additional embellishments you'd like but just have fun with it and make it your own but it's so cute precious and easy to do mm -hmm. 